you know, taking taking over a program, you got to deal with failure at times. You know, failure, you, you got to go through failure before you uh, have success, and that's what we're dealing with right now. And uh, no excuses. We got to be better. It's on me. It's on me to help these guys be better. And uh, we uh, we got a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, I like this group. I like the pieces we have. Um, we're just really fighting the game right now, and we have to uh, – we, we have to do better uh, every day in, in all we do. Uh, credit to Bucknell and Coach Griffin. They came in here. They played really well the other day against Princeton, and they came in here, and they just uh, stuck to their game plan and shot the heck out of the ball and and uh, dis disappointed our performance uh, and our approach. It's got to get better, uh, but uh, there's no uh, – there's there's no time to rest, and uh, th this this is why uh, this is what you sign up for, and got to figure it out and uh, go from there. Mike, you talked a lot about before you guys went to Florida how that was a step up in, in competition. You're yeah. going to learn a lot. Print or uh, Bucknell, excuse me, is pretty much on the level of the po opponents you were playing earlier in yeah. the year by every metric. What caused this big of a step back between now and two weeks ago? Yeah, I, I just think we're we're in a we're in a rut. We're in a rut, uh, and uh, I think we're we uh, you know trying to shake it up, and, and and we we're really fighting the game. We're playing frustrated. Um, we're not staying. We're not as connected as maybe we first were, and because we've dealt with we've we've dealt with some adversity. We've dealt with some uh, some stuff that. Uh, has affected our program. We've dealt with some stuff on the road, going down there and have you know have an adversity and not dealing with it the right way, and that can snowball. And that's and that's where we're at right now. Let's call it as it is. Uh, this is not good enough. Uh, it's on me, number one. Uh, I'm not pointing fingers. I'm uh, it's it's on me. Uh, but I also know that uh, uh, when you when you're dealing with failure, uh, uh, you gotta you gotta fight through it together, and you just can't make excuses. You gotta, you gotta fix things you got to change things you, you got to find ways to connect with the guys the guys got to connect with each other and then we got to find a way to when we do have adversity and things that don't go our way to get better but you're exactly right we're uh we're not playing the way i think we're capable of playing um but we you know we're, we're not we're not taking a week off here we got work to do and uh, we got to figure it out two if i could uh do you have a comment on Ace not coming off the bench? Yeah, just shake, shaking some stuff up, um, you know, with, with some of the things. Uh, uh, just not happy with some of the things that we need to do in the program the right way. And, and uh, so, you know, one thing I think I want guys to respond uh, when, I, when I challenge them. And, uh, you know, I want all our guys to understand that you have to have a level of discipline and, and grit and toughness and character. And, and uh, we don't have enough of that right now to – to go where we want to go, and to, to, and and that's the stuff you know. That's this is part of dealing with eighteen and twenty-two year olds and adversity. Let, you know, and so I'm not afraid to shake it up and and uh, let guys know we all a lot of guys we we got we got to do better. We got to do better, and it starts with uh, the way you approach your day every day. And if we do that, we'll get better and better. I think people will be happy with us. But we uh, we're not where we need to be right now. And, and then it, feel, it feels like you're already saying this, but. Can you diagnose how much of this you feel like is is upstairs mental stuff? Oh it, it, yeah, without a doubt. Um, look, we're, we we're uh, we still have holes with the with our game, right? At, at, at times, and and you know, light in some spots and all that stuff. But that's how it goes. Everyone deals with that. But uh, we're just not as connected as we were earlier on, and because we've gotten beaten up. And now let's let's find out our true character, and and uh, some of it is I got to spend a lot of time with these guys to work them through that. Uh, the other part of it is they got to take on personal responsibility and team responsibility to say, hey, all right, let's draw the line and let's work on this together. And and that's that's the beauty of building a team and building a program. But you got to go through this stuff. It just hurts and it, and it's embarrassing. It and it stinks. But no excuses. Got to find a way. Hey, Mike, a big game for you uh, with it being Schuylkill County Day. What has the homecoming to PA been like for you? What does it mean to have so many family and friends in attendance? Yeah, it was, it was well, disappointing with the result, that's for sure. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's great to have your support of your hometown, your hometown county. You guys all know what I think of where I'm from, how proud I am of where I'm from, and, and all the people and, and friends and family, of course. Um, you know, you you want to have pride. You want to have pride in what you do, and to let people know where you're from. And of course, all of us here from the state of Pennsylvania, you know, we take great pride in that uh, of who we are. So 
to have every have a lot of people here from Schuylkill County Day it was really cool. Um, I'm sorry that we didn't get it done and have a better result for them, uh, but we got a lot of work to do. Mike, I asked Puff this. Uh, what did you think of your team's energy level? Yeah, not I, no. Uh, I don't want to use the. Like, I'm not making excuses. Not good enough. It's not. It's just not good enough. It, uh, and and some of it is is going through adversity, and everyone deals with it differently. But we got to attack it, and we got to be together. And I just think guys are getting frustrated at their own games, and it's affecting other things like our defense. And we just got to continue to mature, call it out, right? Call it out, not blame, but call it out to improve. I mean, the number one thing when you have failure is is to own it, is to understand it, learn from it so it makes you better. We're not doing that well enough right now, and that's on me. Uh, no excuses. We, uh, we got to understand that uh, when we have a bad play, you, you can't be disengaged or you can't have less energy. It's the other way around. Uh, but that's also... Uh, you, you know, you 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 got to go through all that stuff to learn that, and mature from it. So the, that 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 standard's not good enough for me right now. And but that's on me, man. I I I got to teach these guys to figure out how to deal with that in the heat of the moment too. Do, do you have the energy guys in the program? Because you've coached at every level, and I I assume you know how important that when is. they're playing well, when they're playing well. Yes, yes. And you saw that. You've seen that. Yeah, you know, even in Florida uh, moments where. Some guys were playing well and gave great juice to other guys. Uh, but it's got to be that guy who might not be playing great individually, but he's still giving juice to everybody. And, uh, you know, when, you, uh, when you're when you in this rut that we are right now, you know, uh, it, it, you, know you can question it. Um, but when you do that, that's when you're disengaged. And we just got to gotta keep battling. We got to keep battling. Uh, I know what I signed up for. Um, I still think we can win every game. That's in my mentality. But we got a lot of work to do, and uh, we just can't make excuses. We can't make excuses. We can't play the blame game. Can't listen to the noise. You just gotta, you just gotta stick together and keep fighting. And uh, you win your next one. Now it's a little different. And uh, if you don't, you gotta keep grinding because uh, I've been through this before in other programs when when it took over. And yeah, it's hard. But uh, these are the days that you, you become very proud of. Uh, the days of failure are the ones that teach you and learn learn to push you towards success. Yeah. Yeah. It just we gave them. You're exactly right. Uh, we we just I thought our defense our defense just really uh, became porous. We we gave some guys some easy opportunities and they started. You know when you you see the ball going in or you make a couple of plays that gives you great confidence. As I say, then you feel like you're playing with house money, and uh, they shot the heck out of it in that second half. It's disappointing. We didn't have enough pressure on the ball. Deflections. We didn't have any any um, defense at the rim, and uh, and then that starts playing on your offense. And I, you know, I thought we had some really good plays on the offensive end that we didn't finish enough to get going, but not enough, not enough possessions in the game, and and uh, then we may miss some free throws late that that could have changed the way the game was going down the stretch. But just not just not good enough. This Disa very disappointing. Just not good enough. Uh, coach. Uh, the matchup with with Williamson and 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 Cudas down low, it seemed like in the second half he he was able to spring free and get more shots at yeah. the rim. Um, him and then Forrest as well. Just what what did Bucknell do to get those guys? Well, we off? gave Forrest some wide open threes in the first half to get going. I think he had 18 of their 24 points at half. I mean, and and you know that's just unacceptable. And we we we're not honoring the scouting port well enough. I got to do a better job of getting these guys to understand how important that is. Sometimes the scout report gives you the answers to the test, and uh, we we had some uh, some laps there uh, that gave him open threes, got him going, and then when they all started making threes, gives you more room in the post to operate. And Williamson played with good good pace and and uh, was very aggressive today. And uh, that's uh, we got to be better than that. And uh, you know the one thing about Q is he's a very good listener and he really cares, and he'll be better next time out because of that. Hey, Mike, I uh, just wanted to ask if there's any updates on Jamil or uh, Demetrius as they were both added to the injury Demet report today. Demetrius should be back soon, uh, real soon. And, and, you know, Jamil's in a boot. He just, we just, you know, shouldn't be long, but we're just waiting for him to, to get back. He's got to get right first, though. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.